Farms.com Market School with expert commodity analyst Mo Agostino is an online educational video series designed to help you, the farmer, improve your knowledge of grain marketing. Farms.com Market School is brought to you by DeKalb Brand Seeds. DeKalb, growing confidence. Today's video is about technical analysis and this is a series, a three-part series, and today is part one of the three-part mini-series. Today's topics include, we're going to define what technical analysis is, why you use both technical analysis and fundamental analysis for marketing decisions. And then the third part today is bar charts, explaining bar charts versus candlestick charts. So let's get to our first topic. What is the definition of technical analysis? Well, technical analysis is a study of patterns in prices. It can help producers understand the direction of a trend, forecast when a trend may change, decide when to physically book forward your grain bushels, decide when to take a hedge position with options or futures, and understand when to take a profit or loss. It also can help you determine which option to buy if you're in um, uh, the options market. Our second topic today is why use technical analysis versus fundamental analysis, or should you use both? The traditional approach is to sell futures when futures plus or minus expected local basis gives you a target return above the, the cost. You need to know something about your cost and something about your local basis. Now we've covered cost of production and basis in, in prior videos. This approach doesn't address if prices never get high enough to achieve your target. It, if you achieve your target but you miss the chance for the best returns of the past four years. Does anybody remember 2012 when corn prices went to 849, a record high? Alternative you can use technical analysis of future prices to hedge very selective. In other words, when to have or not have a futures position on. Fundamental analysis, on the other hand, is the study of supply and demand fundamentals and it does not always signal that something is wrong until it's too late. On the other hand, technical analysis can give you a heads up as to when perhaps a trend has changed. In this example here that I'm throwing up, the 2008 December corn daily futures chart, you can clearly see that where the market just takes off, goes above 750 a bushel, and there's a chart pattern that uh, uh, shows up on this chart. And if you were looking at this chart during that period of time, if you use both technical analysis and fundamental analysis, you would have been selling corn in that seven plus area and you would have avoided prices falling all the way down to $3 a bushel. Our third topic today is explaining bar charts versus candlestick charts. I need to explain the difference between the two, give you a simple um, uh, basic understanding of bar charts versus candlesticks. You can use either one, but before we get into patterns, we gotta understand how these bar charts and candlestick charts work. So there are two ways to execute a technical analysis. It's mathematically or graphically. There are several techniques that can be employed for both methodologies. The most common are graphic representations like I've been showing you with the 2008 Corn Daily Futures chart. Four bar charts. So bar charts come in daily charts or continuation charts. The bar chart depicts the high price, the low price, the opening price, and the closing price. The high and the low are linked by a vertical line. Uh, the open is depicted by a horizontal line to the left, and the close is depicted by a horizontal line to the right. Each bar therefore represents the high, low, and open, and it's known as that trading range. So here's an example again of the July uh, 2011 Chicago Wheat Daily Futures chart, and each individual vertical line is um, the high low close for that day and you can see that it starts to create some patterns over time. A candlestick chart is a style of a bar chart. It's just a different style of a bar chart. It is a combination of a line chart and a bar chart in that each um, bar represents the range of price movement over a given period of time. Candlestick charts are thought to have been developed in the 16th century by a Japanese rice trader of financial instruments. Um, so in the past you used to get these um, uh, shadows that are bla black and white. It's called the body and then you got a wick uh, on either side, top and bottom. The, the upper shadow is the high, the lower shadow is the low. Um, and nowadays with computers, um, a, cl 
closing higher high is depicted or a higher close from the previous day is depicted in green while a or blue while a lower close is depicted in red as you can see in this example with the 2011 July uh, canola daily futures chart. Daily charts contain permanent data for each day of a month. Again, you can see that here in the 2011 July soybean daily futures chart. Continuation charts uh, provide the high, low, and close for the week, month, or quarter. So you can go as far back as um, you can collect the data. Now there's a company, is, and we've mentioned MRCI in past videos, for uh, a nominal fee, 250 bucks a year. You can get these long-term charts, unless you actually subscribe to live quotes from a company like DTN or QT. Um, uh, this is, a, 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 uh, again, the source here is MRCI.com, but unless you get the live quotes, you're not gonna be able to pull up some of these graphs. So you either have to do it through MRCI or you have to do it live with one of your uh, quote providers. So in summary, understanding what and why one should use technical analysis is another important uh, tool that producers can use to help them make better marketing decisions. Unfortunately, daily bar charts versus continuation charts versus candlestick charts are also helpful as they can often show a different picture depending on the period of time. So not only should you be looking at that daily chart, but you maybe want to look at the weekly and the monthly and quarterly because each chart will depict a different pattern.